Welcome back you lovely bunch. Thanks for tuning in again. I hope you're all doing good. Right, today we're going to chat about bike racks. So for those of you that don't own a VW Transport, well, bike racks are really handy. I do have a tiny little hatchback. It's a bit of a mission taking the bike apart to get it in the back of it. So what I've needed for ages is a bike rack. And the lovely guys of Saris have sent me over one of their Bones 2 racks. It's got lots of bars and attachment things and, and it's all folded up very neatly at the moment. So I've gone for the two bike one. So in today's video I'm going to chat you through this and install it on the car. And then hopefully get a couple of bikes on and see how it works. Right, so you see these little ratchet things. I'm pretty sure to set this up it is just a matter of moving these around to the right point and slotting them in. And so you literally slide it off. Yep and then you can turn it to the angle you want. And there we go. And then you can just tighten it up with this little knobbly knobbly bit here. So there we go. This might not be in the right angle, but I'm gonna get it roughly set up to where I think I want it. So again, you just unscrew this little knobbly bit, and then I should be able to slide these over. I mean, obviously this is gonna be much easier to set up when I've actually got it on the back of the car, but this is just to get an idea of where I want everything. Oh, this is so easy. Famous last words, right? So these two would sit like on the rear bumper like this. This would rest against your rear window and you put your bikes here on these mounts. So you get two bikes here. So one bike here and then one bike here. And we also have a bunch of these straps. So that will hook on the boot of the car to secure everything. Price, I always forget to tell people the price. Um, it's $199 for this. So it's not like a crazy expensive. So as I said, I've got a very tiny car. I have no tow bar hitch. Putting the bikes in the back is just a pain in the backside. So, we are going to go and fit this Saris Bones 2 to the car, put a bike on it and see how secure and stuff it is. Right, let's go. So setting the rack up on the car is really simple and straightforward. There's a lot of adjustment in the legs, so you can get them to the angle you want. I think this would be quite useful if you're putting different kinds of bike on. I'd probably keep it at a standard height, but if I wanted to put my mountain bike on, I might need to slightly tweak it to give myself a bit more room. So once you've set up the legs, it's just a matter of attaching the straps. There's upper, sides and lower. And as instructed, the uppers go on the upper part of the boot, the lowers go on the lower and the sides go on the sides. They're very easy to clip in. I mean, if you had a really posh car, I would be slightly concerned about these maybe chipping the paintwork. But once they're all clipped in, all you do is you tighten up the ratchet strap. The actual setup and install, really simple. The legs feel really secure, and once I've tightened everything up, it feels very snug. And if I wobble the rack, the whole car moves, which is always a good sign of a good bike rack. So there's two straps to hold the top tube of your frame, and then there's another strap to hold the seat tube, so that stops your bike from swinging. You would need a strap for your front wheel to go from your front wheel to your frame. You can get this from Saris, or you could just tie an old inner tube around it, or you could use some of the excess like material left over from the um, tension straps. So when I actually did put two bikes on, it was slightly more problematic. It's a little bit of a squeeze, but I did get two drop bar gravel bikes on. I ride a size 56 frame, so they're quite large bikes. But I did notice I'd need a little bit of padding or protection between the frames at certain points, especially like here on the back wheel. My handlebars are like sketchily close to those spokes. Whilst things shouldn't move, I don't like having a handlebar that close to my spokes. So if you look between the frames, there's no contact between those frames. So your bikes aren't going to be scratching against each other until I got the mountain bike out and then decided I was going to try and put that on the rack. Spiky pedals and rear mounted racks. I, I definitely, definitely have a big scratch across the back of my car now. But Scratches aside, that's user error. It's not the rack, that would be me. The mountain bike fitted, and I feel that getting a mountain bike on a rear mounted bike rack, especially on a very tiny car, if I can get this bike on this rack, anything will fit. I mean, maybe maybe I'd be slightly concerned about putting a gigantically heavy e-bike on there. And the mountain bike was nice and secure, nice and snug. It wasn't hitting the car. I'm not sure about getting two mountain bikes on. I could probably get my daughter's mountain bike and my mountain bike. Whereas putting two trail bikes on the back so the weight limit for this rack is actually two 35 pound bikes and I believe 35 pounds is around 15 kilos. I think my mountain bike is slightly over that mark. So two of my mountain bikes would be a little bit too much. Um, but if I were to put the frames on, take the wheels off, put them inside the car, I'd have less sticking out from the side of the car and I could get two on. So after getting the two gravel bikes on, we need to give it a little blast up the road to see if everything's secure, brake really hard and see if anything smashes into the back of my car or falls off. I mean, that is the best way to test out a new bike rack, right? And you'll be pleased to know that nothing fell off 
and nothing got scratched. There were no bikes harmed in the making of this review. So there we go, there's a quick setup and a pack down of the Saris Bones 2. One of the reasons I don't like using the sucker one that I did have is because it's so easy to steal. These are slightly more difficult, but if you do want to take it off, look, you can just fold up the legs, then it folds up all small, see? There we go. That is the Saris Bones rack. It will like easily fit in your boot. Even if you have a rear strut brace in there like I do, so you don't have to have it on your car the entire time. So like I say, I pointed out a couple of bad points, some good points. I mean, honestly, it's a really, really quick and easy rack to set up. The bikes seem really secure. I would have no issues putting any of my bikes on that rack. I mean, with the mountain bike, it's so long and my car is so small. It kind of freaks me out having the wheels protruding slightly from each side of the car. So honestly, I'd probably take the wheels off and put those in the car and just have the frame on there. And then also I'm reducing some of the weight. I've only got a tiny car, and whilst this rack is totally capable of carrying a mountain bike, better to be safe than sorry, right? Yeah, so massive thanks actually to Saris for sending over a rack so I no longer have the long-winded process of taking wheels off and putting bikes in the boot and then getting the interior of my car all muddy. My car is far too small and low to have a tow bar hitch. A roof rack would be a bit of a pain in the ass, and those ones are crazy expensive. So if you're looking for an affordable way affordable it's still two hundred dollars which is like what 170 pound 180 pounds probably 200 pounds at the moment um, but around about say 200 pounds so a very easy to set up rack to hold your bikes nice and snug and there's a few niggles that i did find with it but honestly i could just wrap an old t-shirt around certain parts of my bike or take a bit more time when setting it up. It was a bit of a rush today. Dead easy to set up, simple. So yeah, I'll put links down below to the Saris Bones 2. This does come actually in a two bike or a three bike or a one bike rack, I believe. It's a funky little rack. I believe this is their best selling rack and I can definitely see why. It's well robust as well. It's really, I don't know what it's made of. It's like a plastic, but, um, but yeah, it seems pretty tough. Uh, actually, before I go, one of the things I have noticed about if you leave a bike rack on a car is some of the parts, because they're plastic, they get a little bit brittle. And the last thing you want is a bike rack snapping and your bike falling off and, and destroying your pride and joy. So that's one of the reasons that I actually don't leave a rack on my car because I do worry about bits of plastic getting brittle or fatiguing. But honestly here, there's not really a lot that can go wrong. It's a very simple design. I like this, it's clever, right? Clever, 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 cleverness. Um, anyway, yeah, waffling about a bike rack. So if you are interested in the bike rack, do check out the Saris Bones. There's my little review of the Saris Bones bike rack. Definitely worth the money. Right, remember to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys very soon. Bye.